going to add mixed numbers today. So if you remember, a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction next to it. Just a reminder, when you're writing your fractions, your whole number needs to be the same height as the fraction next to it. So just as a reminder, so that you don't get confused about which part is the whole number, and which is the fraction. So our steps are gonna look really similar to adding regular um, proper fractions, but there's a starred part here that is really important. And basically, the only difference here is that you need to make sure that your whole number is included as you write your equivalent fractions. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's say that we have, let's do, and I'm going to do these vertically, 5 and 2 sixths and 8 and 2 ninths. Okay, five and two sixths, eight and two ninths. So my first step is to make my equivalent fractions like I usually do. But with looking at this starred step, I really, really want you to focus on remembering to transfer these whole numbers over here. Now I've had students in the past say, oh, it's fine, I'll still remember them. No, I really want you to rewrite them here. Don't try to put everything in your head. Rewrite your work, I want to see this. Okay, this is part of showing your work. You've got to put your whole numbers in with your equivalent fractions because it's part of the fraction. So now we're ready to make our equivalent fractions. So six and nine, I would say we could do 54. It's not going to be the lowest one though. 18 is actually going to be the lowest. 18 goes into, or nine and six both go into 18. So six times three is 18. Two times three is six. 9 times 2 is 18, 2 times 2 is 4. So now, just like before, we're going to add our fractions up. So we're going to add our whole numbers. 5 plus 8 is 13. 6 plus 4 is 10. And then 18 is our denominator. This is not in lowest terms, though. So you need to show me your lowest terms. So we'd have 13. And then I can reduce both of these by 2. So five and nine, and please circle your answer. So 13 and five ninths would be my answer for this problem. All right, let's do another one. Okay, let's try three, oh, goodness gracious, drop my lid. Three and two fourths plus four and 12 sixteenths. Okay, so we need our equivalent fractions. Again, we're gonna put our whole numbers over here. Okay, you've got to put your whole numbers over there to travel with your equivalent fractions. Lowest, or lowest common denominator here, I've got 16, so we're gonna have 16 as our common denominator. Four times four is 16, two times four is eight. 16 times 1 is 16, 12 times 1 is 12. So now I'm ready to add this up. So I get 7. And then, now this one's going to be a little tricky. This is, this is where we're going to have to do a little bit of um, kind of very clever reducing here. So 8 plus 12 is going to be 20. And this is going to be 16 down on the bottom. Now... This is a little tricky. Uh, it's kind of an extra added step, and you will see some of these sometimes. Um, but this number, if you notice, this is an improper fraction. So when we're looking at this, what would this fraction be if I were to change it to a mixed number? 16 goes into 20 one time with how many left over? 4 sixteenths. So... We have to add the seven to that, right? So seven and one would be eight, and then we'd have four sixteenths, okay? Does that make sense? I know that this ends up being kind of a tricky little, tricky little spot. Um, some of these will have that, some will not. Um, but just so you know, if you do get an improper fraction here, you have to think back to our improper to mix numbers and then combine those accordingly. 
Okay, let's try another one. All right, let's do, let's try one with, let's try one with, hmm, okay. Let's do, th let's do it horizontally this time. So three, five, 27. Sorry, I changed which problem I wanted to do. And seven and two ninths. Okay. So again, even in the horizontal method, you need to transfer your whole numbers. So three plus seven and our fraction. Okay. So my common denominator here is going to be 27. So 27, 27. 27 times 1 is 27. 5 times 1 is 5. 9 times 3 is 27. 2 times 3 is 6. So now we're going to add these up just like we would. And unfortunately, I'm out of space here. So 3 plus 7 is 10. My denominator remains the same. 5 plus 6 is 11. And that is in lowest terms. So our answer for that is 10 and 11 27ths. All right, let's try another one. Okay, let's do five. Let's do another horizontal one. Five and 11 22nds plus seven and three elevenths. Okay, so once again, transferring your whole numbers to your equivalent fractions. My common denominator here is going to be 22. So 22, 22. Two, 22 times 1 is 22. 11 times 1 is 11. 11 times 2 is 22. 3 times 2 is 6. So now we're going to add these up. 5 plus 7 is 12. 22 on the bottom. 11 plus 6 would be 17. And that is in lowest terms. So our answer is going to be 12 and 17 20 seconds. Okay. Let's do a couple more or at least one more of those regrouping type ones, not regrouping, but the improper fractions at the bottom. Um, so here we go. So this first one, we're going to do two and six sevenths plus five and two fifths. Okay. So once again, transferring your whole number over to your equivalent fractions. Every single time, I want you to do this every single time. Don't forget about those whole numbers. Seven and five, my common denominator here is gonna be 35. Seven times five is 35, six times five is five, or sorry, oh my gosh. Six times five is 30, here we go. Five times seven is 35, two times seven is 14. And now we're ready to add. So we're going to add the 2 plus the 5, which will be 7. Our denominator will remain the same. 30 plus, four, 40 plus 14 will be 44. So once again, we've got this weird improper fraction business going on. So if I were to change this to a mixed number, I would have, this goes in one time, with how many remaining? 9 35ths, right? And we'll just add the 7 to that. So that means our answer is going to be 8 and 9 35ths. Okay, so that's another one where you have to kind of uh, work with this improper fraction that happens when you add this. Okay? All right, let's do one more. All right, let's do 7 and 1 half plus six and three-fourths. Okay, so again, transfer that whole number, seven and six. Our common denominator here is going to be four. Two times two is four. One times two is two. Four times one is four. Three times one is three. Add these up. Seven plus six is 13. Common denominator, four. 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay, same thing. This is going to be improper. If I was going to change this to a mixed number, it would be 1 and 1 fourth 
plus that 13. So my answer to this is going to be 14 and 1 fourth. Okay. I know that regrouping part is tricky, um, but I wanted to definitely demonstrate a couple of those for you guys, just so you can kind of see um, if that does happen, how to deal with those. So this is adding mixed numbers. We're done with our video. Um, it's time to jump back to Google Classroom, check out the board notes, and then work on your worksheet and your fast check. Submit those when you're done. If you are looking for optional extra work, there is there are some IXL um, options as well as some other stuff in there. And then if, again, as always, if you have any questions, please stop by to office hours and I'll be there to answer any questions you might have. All right, guys, until next time, see you later.